Let's have a look at this comment. Telling someone who has a high body fat percentage to eat as little as possible is irresponsible and will set you up for failure. I personally believe that this statement is irresponsible because you are potentially limiting someone's results depending on how hungry they are. Common wisdom usually tells us to ease into a program. Start small with a moderate deficit and then slowly increase that deficit as you become smaller. Gradually build up that training volume. But the opposite actually works best often. We have a 2021 meta-analysis study done on this, whereby if you're only aiming for small changes, it does not result in significant fat loss, but it can potentially prevent weight gain. And when clients come to you in their first couple of weeks when their motivation is the highest, they will be using that motivation to show them that they can get really good results and that their hard work pays off. Here is a study on long-term weight maintenance, a meta-analysis of the US studies. Here is the article link if you want to go check it out. What this study shows is that people who lose more fat in the first phase of their program often lose more fat and are better at sustaining their weight loss compared to people who use a more moderate diet strategy. Rapid results foster faith in the process. Starting big also reduces the perception of effort compared to when starting small. As an example, when dieting, if you start with a moderate deficit and then you increase that deficit as time goes on, the decrease in energy expenditure will be felt much more harshly because that is your reference point. Whereas if you start big, things only get better from here. And if you don't believe me, here is another study. Pain ratings reflect cognitive context, a range frequency model for pain perception. Here is the study. So when you're starting small, put your client's mindset into the frame of it's only ever gonna get worse from here. Whereas when your client has the most motivation at the start to achieve great results, they can decide how low they can go safely within calorie ranges. But having even said all that, I'm happy for you to go to PubMed and show me studies that say otherwise. Oh, and just as an FYI, giving the client permission to decide how low in calories that they can go and stick to it gives them more empowerment. It also makes them feel like they're a part of the program and not just being told what to do. And they have some control over their nutrition.